Whoa! Gradient trigger? Oh, player color one, player color two. And it just puts a gradient in the background. So club step gives me like a black and orange kind of vibe. That's just so sick. Oh. Oh. Yo. Blending. Oh. What? Let's put it above everything. Put it like T4. It goes above the entire level. And I can type the hex code in now without an extension. The gradient trigger might be the greatest thing ever. Look at this. It's got blending modes and everything. You can you can create some really trippy stuff with this. <laughs> what? That's so cool, man. What a game. Look, th this is a beautiful color scheme. Rotate. Group one. Oh, they changed the rotate menu. 10 times around 360. 10 seconds. Ro- no. What, what? I was about to say rotational in out. That's not a thing. What's- what's all this? Okay, that's not how that works. Interesting. No, it is. It is. It is. I don't know what vertex mode. I'm gonna have to check a bunch of this stuff out off stream because I want to make cooler videos instead of just like sitting here and going like blah, 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 blah. But like, wow, dude. Let's 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 try every enter effect, okay? Like enter move, for example. Looks scary. But let's just give it a little bit of a distance and an angle, and we'll just see what happens. Why not? What's gonna happen now? Nothing. Why? This pesky little thing is in the way. Get out of here. You can't have any entry transitions or anything like that, otherwise it's- Whoa. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. It just seems very janky at the moment. <gasps> oh, now it's moving towards me. That's not what I want. I want it the other way. I want it to go backwards. So let's put minus 40 on the length instead. Oh, what the- What? What's killing me? This trigger is wacky. What should I even put in this box? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god. Whoa. Look! <laughs> what is happening? Offset. Move it to the side. What the? What the? What is happening? Negative. What is happening to me? <gasps> it's, it's cooking. If I get this the right distance away, it might be fire. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. Dude. Rotate. What did we do last time? I forgot. I forgot what we just did. Let me just figure this out. So length was 100. And we got like a minus 23 offset. I'm just going to keep doing that just to make sure we can get something working. And then maybe we can do like a full rotate for each object. That will be fire. <gasps> what? <laughs> Enter scale. Let's just keep doing the same setup that we've always had. But we're going to crank the scale up. Let's do it. It's huge. <laughs> We're not doing that. Why is Rob put this all the way up at the top? No, -uh. maybe we can do like a bounce as well. Or maybe some kind of like special easing. Bounce out. Why not? Okay. This is subtle. It's not, it's not, a, it's not crazy, but it's cool, right? We've got to increase the, the drasticness of it. That's not a word. The intensity. That's what I'm trying to say. This is impossible. Give it a two. Okay, this is also cool. I think the rotation one was the coolest so far, but this is neat. I like it. Enter fade. Same setup. Oh, this is going to be like a complete invisible block kind of thing, right? Ooh, that's cool. These, en these entry transitions are fire, I'm not going to lie. Tint? You're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Color channel. Let's go for... Let's just go for color channel 2. We made it copy the background earlier with like an extra little hue. I don't know how this is going to work exactly, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, I need to actually put tint on it. Duh. Okay, it's like, it's tint. It's not like colored, but it's tinted. You know what I mean? It's like, it's nothing crazy. Yeah, it's kind of just like happening in front of my face. This one's kind of subtle. The move one was fire. I want to, I want to mess with that one again. Move distance. We could just go crazy with it. Why not? Bounce. I don't know. Just do things, please. Oh, whoa. It actually did! <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun! What happens if I put these on negative? Does it come from the other direction? This update is too crazy. This is one trigger. And the rotation one was fire as well. We can probably do like huge rotation. So there's variants on this where you can like add plus or minus a thousand or something like that. And it'll change it for some blocks. What on earth have I just done? What have I done to poor club step? What have I done to this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you combine them? Let's make an epic move one and an epic rotate one. Huge. 
This is Cub Step, guys. You cried when 2.2 came out. I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm just doing random stuff. I don't even care anymore. What do I do? I do care. I do care a lot. I actually really care. Oh my goodness, man. Get rid of those two. I want to see if I can just make them only tall. Scale Y a lot, right? So maybe it just like snaps in the form. Oh my... What? How am I playing it? That's the question. What have I done now? Guys, I'm going to be trying to learn all these triggers to the best of my ability, actually using the manual instead of just doing... <gasps> I was just about to plug myself and say subscribe. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. This is... This is just... It's just... It's just too much. You can stretch everything. Bro, these exist already? I'm taking that, respectably. Oh my word. They actually do exist. Look at all the trigger work in this. I feel bad, but I'm gonna destroy it. How do I do this again? Enter scale, and then I go boom, bam, bop. And then we'll do a bounce again, because it's funny. Okay, let's just see. Let's just see if it breaks. Oh boy, this is already horrendous. <laughs> oh god, oh god, this is awful. Yeah, this is very drunken dash. Oh my, it doesn't break? Really? Okay, sure. Oh god, that's even worse. The spider- <laughs> The spider was so dead. Can I get the coin? No, of course not. I'm gonna mess that up because the sink there is wrong, but it's fine. This is the goofiest thing I've ever done. Why? I should make a series of beating- No, I shouldn't make- What am I saying? I should not make a series of me beating rub top levels with these stupid effects turned on. I mean, it's fine for a one-off, just for a gimmick for the video, okay? Just to show that it could actually be kind of useful, except it- Oh god, this is gonna be horrendous to read. Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, this is- Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. These loads so early, it's fine. You know, you could go like super messy for your aesthetic. Like it, it could work because this do it doesn't look bad, and it's actually working for most of the level. Like it, nothing much is breaking. The swing copter looks fine. Okay, we're good. That's a cool looking corridor. Okay, that's when you would use it when you have like a lot of vertical height. I feel like you would put a lot of scale on that um, transition there. But let's just see what this part looks like. Oh, it's kind of dead at the edges, but it's a static camp. Where do I jump? Oh my god, that's terrifying. Where do I jump? Where do I jump? No, I jumped early because I couldn't tell where I was. Okay, so yeah, be careful with static camera, etc. Wait, I want to change it more. Did my game just crash? This is an opening. Yeah, that's fair. So be careful because if you do stupid stuff in the level editor, you are going to get your game crashed. I'm going to use this time to find out things that you guys might want to see, like time warp, for example. I'm just going to snoop around. There's these like arrow blocks too. So these rotations are done with an arrow and a rotate in the camera, I see. I got to check those out because Rob seems to use them a lot. Oh, the particle editor, true. Yeah, I got to do that in the video as well. I'm just literally using this. Dude, look at this level editing. That's crazy. How do how do you even build vertical gameplay? Like, how do you know that's gonna work? Yeah, just let me know what you want to see me try next in the editor, because I for sure will. What is the guide camera? I didn't even do that. Preview the camera bounds at specified zoom and offset values. Oh, so this shows you a giant green box. Okay, good to know. Okay, I see. So when you're play testing with a start pause, like right here, the guide is showing you the green box rising with you. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. I know I was the wrong size cube. Don't get on my- And then the end block. I gotta check that out too. But oh my goodness, man. There's so much to unpack with this update and I, I haven't even gotten near the start of it. That's not what- That's not how the phrase goes. Whatever. Just let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna read all of them. Thank you so much for watching. Check the links in the description. Leave a like and subscribe and- have a good day.